it's Jennifer at Jennifer at Home, and I'm so happy you're here today to join me to make the easiest ever two ingredient homemade biscuits. These are the only two ingredients we're gonna need to make these delicious biscuits. We'll need heavy whipping cream and self-rising flour. Real quick, I'm gonna add in the shout out jar, friends. I have names in here of channels I really enjoy watching and I think they're truly worthwhile. Today's shout out goes to Oregon Zan. Oregon Zan has an awesome channel that I love. I never get tired of watching her channel and I watch it from beginning to end without any effort because it's so intriguing and I know that you'll enjoy watching Oregon Zan if you check out her channel. I'm going to preheat my oven so it'll be all ready when it's time for me to put the biscuits in. These biscuits are so easy to put together, you don't even need a sifter. Of course you can use a sifter if you have one, but you could also use a colander like this one, a whisk or a fork just to fluff up the flour. So we need two cups of flour and only a cup and a half of heavy whipping cream. I have my oven preheating and this will only take just a couple of minutes to put together. So I've got the oven warming up and now I have the flour and I wanted to show you one of the ways that you can sift the flour. You don't need a fancy sifter. I just have a little colander here that I'm just gonna put on my bowl and put the flour in. Because the lighter and fluffier your flour, the lighter and fluffier your biscuits will be. So I'm just gonna put that in just like that. And then you can just tap this on the side. And as you can see, the flour is getting so light and so fluffy. Our biscuits are gonna be fantastic. And be sure to hold it down in there because if not, you may lose some flour and you may have a dusty kitchen. Now that we have that in there, and it's all light and fluffy, we're gonna put a well right in the middle. And we're slowly gonna start adding our cream. I have two cups of the all-purpose, oops, a self-rising flour. And then I have a cup and a half of heavy whipping cream. I'm using this stainless steel bowl so that you can see much easier than a white bowl. I put the cream right in the middle and I'm just gonna circle it around and I'm gonna start slowly and carefully incorporating it because we don't want to mix it harshly. We basically wanna just start folding it in very delicately because we want our flour to still be nice and fluffy. And start adding the cream right there in the middle and carefully and gently just start folding it in. It only literally takes minutes to put this together. I can put this together in just about the same amount of time as it takes me to open a can of biscuits. Just add a little cream at a time. I usually add it in about three to four increments. And lightly, you can turn the bowl and lightly just go around and start turning the flour right over with the spoon. If we overwork this dough, our biscuits will be hard and tough and we definitely don't want hard, tough biscuits. I'll go ahead and add the rest of the cream. It's coming together nicely. If you happen to add too much cream and it's really, really super wet, that's okay. You can add a little bit more flour, but add just a little bit at a time so you don't get carried away. I'm just gonna get all those little crumbs right up off the bottom. There we have it. And now it's time to turn it out onto our parchment paper, or you can use wax paper. You can use a baking mat, a still pad, anything you have, even a cutting board. I'm just gonna take a little bit of the self-rising flour, the same one we used in our recipe, and put a little bit down on this piece of wax paper. And the reason this is self-rising flour is because they have already added the baking powder and the salt. So that's already added in here for us. 
and that makes it so much easier. It eliminates a couple extra steps. So I'm just gonna take this dough really carefully. There we go, pick up what's left in the bowl, and I'm just going to put it right here in the middle of this floured wax paper. And I'm gonna carefully and lightly just start pressing it out to about three quarters of an inch thick. We don't want to work it too hard because we don't want tough, hard biscuits. So we're going to just work it really carefully and just start pressing lightly. I'll put my hand here on the edge just to keep a really nice edge and we'll get it about three quarters of an inch thick. It's looking good. This recipe makes about six large biscuits, but of course you can use any size cookie cutter or biscuit cutter. I just have a round cookie cutter that I like to use. And of course, whatever size you use to, will yield whatever, however many biscuits you'll have. If you use a small cutter, of course, you'll have a lot more biscuits. A big cutter, you'll have less biscuits. All right, and here's how the dough's looking. It's looking really good. Now I'm just gonna take this cookie cutter here, this round cutter, and I'm going to put it right on the edge. I'm going to press it straight down and pull it straight up. We don't want to twist because if we twist this, and there's how it looks in the cutter, I'll just put it off to the side. If we twist this dough, right now you can see there are lots of little layers right here in the dough. But if we twist it, it's gonna seal off these, there, the oven's ready. It's gonna seal off these nice little layers and it's not gonna rise. It's gonna prevent it from rising. So we wanna go straight down and straight up, just like that. And now when we have the extra pieces, we're not gonna put them in a ball and start pressing them together in a tight ball. We're just going to start pushing these pieces together. If your dough's nice and has a little bit of moisture to it, you can carefully and easily just push this right together into another disc. And we want to keep it about the same thickness that we have the previous biscuits so that they'll all cook evenly. Now, as you can see here, I've put the biscuits on a little tray with a piece of parchment paper and I have them with the edges touching. I left just a little smidge of space in between because that way when they start to rise, they'll rise up and they won't go and tip over or anything like that. They'll just rise right together in the middle of this tray. So I'm gonna bake these in the oven at 450 for about 10 to 12 minutes. And here's how the super easy, super delicious biscuits turned out. Let me show you just how light and fluffy these biscuits are. I am so happy and so grateful that you were here today to make these super easy biscuits. I hope you give these a try and realize just how easy they are to put together and how easy they are to enjoy. I would love for you to subscribe if you haven't already and be sure to click the notification bell. And don't forget to hit the thumbs up button and I'll see you next time.